Hello, this is Todd Tolles, Global CTO of Modern Data Center. And today we're gonna to talk about Power Store GUI and how I would look at performance in the environment. So in this case, I started back at my dashboard uh, in the environment as if I just logged into the system. Uh, in this case, since we wanna look at performance, let's click over to the performance tab of the dashboard. Uh, in this case, you can see my latency is a uh, very good 0.38 milliseconds. I'm doing about 54,000 IOPS. I'm doing about, uh, about a little more than 500 megabytes a second. Um, as you can see, uh, in this environment, I can look at um, different time periods. So for example, last month, this was just what I was last looking at, or I can also drill into the environment and say, all right, what's going on um, in a smaller environment? Um, I can highlight it at any point in time and see, for example, here, uh, I can see this is 0.42 milliseconds, 66,000 IOPS, my bandwidth, the exact time period uh, and what I'm doing. Uh, and as you notice, it's very granular. So I'm doing uh, a snapshot every 20 seconds uh, in, in the environment. I can see my latency, I can see my IOPS, uh, and of course, uh, I can see my bandwidth. To remind you, you can of course uh, export the charts uh, at, by right-clicking on those three lines there at the upper right-hand corner of any graph. I can also drill in as well, right? So if I wanna look at, for example, at IOPS, uh, I can see, for example, what's the read-write, uh, read IOPS, what's the write IOPS, what's the total IOPS, if I'm not interested in it, I can unclick it. For example, if I don't want to see the to total IOPS, uh, I can unclick uh, and it will go away. Similarly, uh, when I look at things like latency uh, in the environment, I can see both read write re latency, write latency, uh, as well as general latency. Uh, and then for IO size, I can do the same thing as well, right? So what's my read size and what's my write size uh, in the environment? I can quickly and easily see that. Uh, and as, if, for example, you can see here, uh, the right I.O. size jumped up an uh, environment to about 14, whether back here it was at seven. So I can quickly easily see in the environment what's going on uh, as I'm drilling through. One of the things we do from a performance perspective is I can also look at it at different elements. So for example, from a hardware perspective, if I wanna look at it from an appliance point of view, I can see here. So that will show me just from an appliance point of view what it's looking like. So I can see this same type of information about latency, IOPS, and bandwidth. Uh, I can see the same views in the environment. I can also say, I wanna see what CPU is. So those of you who have heard me do demos before will know, remember that when I tell you CPU is probably one of the most important things to look. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and look at, in this case environment, you know, the CPU is used about, utilized about 35%. So in this case, it's not a big problem. Uh, the CPU is not being taxed at all in the environment. Uh, and then, of course, just to remind you, um, I can go ahead uh, and um, change my view in the environment as I want to see. You know, so for example, maybe I want to look at for the last 24 hours uh, in the environment. I can see what it's doing uh, in that environment, and I can easily drill into here uh, as well. Similarly, I can do the same thing by looking at, for example, volumes. So, for example, if I had a user call in and say, hey, uh, my uh, HANA volume. Uh, is seeing some performance problems. What can I do in there? So I can quickly as you drill in uh, and see uh, what's going on from this point of view, but I can also see what it's doing uh, inside the environment, right? So what, what type of performance, uh, what type of, um, of latency I'm seeing in the environment, both for last hour, last month, last years. Uh, and then I can, of course, drill in. So one of the things you did here is uh, I basically clicked and, and, and dragged over and that drills me into that particular environment. So for example, if I go into the last hour uh, and the environment, uh, actually don't have any workload in there, so I can go back to the last hour, I can quickly and easily see what's going on in this particular environment. Additionally, I can go as well and say, I wanna look at Q depth, right? So Q depth is a common measure of latency. Uh, the, more, the more people waiting in line, the, the, the bigger the latency uh, for the particular uh, resource in question. Uh, so in this case, you can see I have a very fairly low Q, Q depth uh, in the environment uh, 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 for what I'm doing. So also, uh, I can go ahead as well and look at, for example, from a host group, host point of view, uh, I can see, I can also see that in, in environment as well. I can see what the initiators are uh, to see what my connectivity is. Uh, and one thing is to remind you is, uh, I can also drill into that from here. So for example, if I was going from HANA, uh, I can say is, you know, what my host mappings are, what host this is connected to on the environment. So I can see this is connected to a particular ESX host 
uh, in the environment. So I quickly and easily can go and drill uh, into the environment to kind of see what's going on uh, and what I'm doing, uh, and more importantly, to see what, what's going on uh, in my particular environment. So if we go back to the beginning, um, I, the performance section is important consideration in the environment. Uh, and as I mentioned earlier, everything keeps state. So I drilled into the last hour uh, and the environment. As I moved back and forth, the state kept uh, from, the, from the same part from the GUI. So that makes it very easy for me to troubleshoot uh, in this particular environment. Good luck and good selling.